friends, so today we are going to, or I am going to, paint the frame on my TV. Um, I have thought about building a frame for it. I have thought about uh, maybe even buying another TV. But I decided, why should I build a frame when I can just paint the frame? So I, I've done a little bit of research. I've looked at different people's painting techniques for their TVs. I've kind of pulled what I think is gonna be the most durable, that's going to have the best look. Um, and because I want my TV to have a little bit of a vintage look, I'm gonna add some little trim pieces to it to make it look even more like a vintage frame. So let's get started. I'll walk you through this process. At the end, we will decide if it's a thumb up or a thumbs down. If it's a thumbs down, I will be building a frame because now it's painted. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the TV really good. I'm just using Windex. I thought about using TSP, but I'm not sure what that'll do to plastic. So I'm just giving it a good cleaning. <laughs> This blue scotch tape or you can use um, any kind that as long as it comes off you can use any kind <laughs> against the frame as possible. So, um, so I'm just lightly, I'm, I'm making sure it's good and snug up, up against the edge, but I'm just lightly, lightly rubbing it on the outside. <laughs> So that kind of helps me push it, push the um, tape down in there. Like so. So now we'll do the next one. You know, when the frame is black and the TV's black, it's harder. So I'm gonna turn on the TV. Let's see. Okay, now I can kind of see. Holy mackerel, this is a lot easier. So definitely turn on the TV. <laughs> I can see what's going on. This is like so much faster. <laughs> okay, so the TV is taped. Now we're going to sand it. I'm just going to take this sanding block and I'm going to rough it up on the face and I'm going to do the side. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, a damp rag and I'm just going to lightly go over it to get some of the dust off. <music> to do with the remote so I'm not going to paint over that I'll paint around it okay so we've got everything prepped and I wanted to just say that prepping take your time because I feel like it makes a big difference sorry for the glare I don't know how to make this glare go away <laughs> in my glasses um it's take your time do good prepping because we're talking about your TV. So take your time on that. So I'm gonna turn it around over here and we will start to um, paint. And I'm gonna show you what paint that I have for the project. Okay, so um, a lot of people recommended priming and honest to goodness, I would recommend you prime. But I found this patio outdoor paint and um, I found this green color. So I'm going to show you this green color. 
Did I say green? <laughs> gold. Why was I saying green? <laughs> I'm going to paint it this gold color. So let's see what this looks like. Um, I can always paint over it. Remember, you can always paint over it. Okay, so this paint goes on a very thin. So we're definitely going to need multiple coats to do this. Okay, so um, this dries pretty quick. So what I'm going to need to do is do like a thin layer. And then I'm going to run all the way across it in one long swoop. Because if I don't, it makes these little marks. It dries really fast. Okay, so there's the first coat, as you can see. And it's just a nice, um, thin layer. It's very gold, but that's okay. We're going to do rub and buff over it. We're going to make it look more antique-y after we put several coats on here. Okay, so I've put the first coat of paint on, um, and I did the sides here you can see. So we're going to let this dry for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we will um, come back and do it again. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I am going to paint the embellishments that will go on the corners of the um, television. So I'm going to follow the same technique as what, how I'm painting the television for these ornate pieces of wood. All right, coat number two. Now that the second coat is on, let's go and finish painting the ornate pieces. Okay, so we're gonna put some rub and buff on over the gold. Um, and the way I do that is I just put a little bit on a plate I use my, I'm using the same paintbrush. I dab it in here and then I just wipe it over the gold. And then our goal is to make it look like this. Go over with the rub and buff first. And we're gonna do this on the TV also. dry a little bit and then we'll go over it with some wax. So now we are adding some wax to the to the little ornate pieces. So we've got the rub and buff um, on there and our goal is to make it look like this with the wax. So we'll have the dark in there. Do some rub and buff on here. This definitely gives it a beautiful patina. Okay, so now I am adding um, the wax to the TV. So first I kind of go on in a circular motion and then I um, go back over it with a straight kind of buffing motion. Okay, so now I'm buffing the wax. Um, and earlier I was using a paper towel, but here's um, an old sock that I'm using to buff it. Okay, so now we've got everything ready, and we're going to put on the... Um, little trim pieces next, but I need to take off this tape first. So when you take off the tape, just go slowly, um, just in case, cause you don't wanna pull up any of the paint. So I'm gonna take it real nice and slow. 
at this point, it's too dark outside, so I'm going to put the little pieces on the corners tomorrow, and I will show you in the daylight because you'll be able to see better. But so far, I really like it. I think it looks great. <laughs> So it's day two um, on this project, and I have to be honest, this project took me a lot longer than I thought, and I think it's because I didn't prime. If I had primed, I would have had a more solid base, I guess. The black was hard to cover. I would have had it e easier to cover. So I had to wait in between coats, and that's what took it so long. So I'm going to turn this around and show you where we are. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the wax on there. Um, so we've got the gold, then we've got layers of gold, then we've got um, the rub and buff, and now the wax. I'm good to go, and I'm ready to put these little trim pieces on here. <music> little detail and it looks so elegant and beautiful. Now we're going to decorate around it so I'll um, show you guys what I'm going to do there too. <music> see how it all came together. nerve to paint your TV? That's the big question. Um, I can honestly tell you this was easy. I don't know why I waited this long. It looks fantastic. Now I can video this side of the room without there being a black hole, basically a black hole on this side of the room and, and take pictures. So it's super easy. It works. I will update this uh, YouTube video in the description and let you know how it's holding up. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I hope you have found this helpful and we will see you soon. Bye.